scared to debate me. Toronto's top mayoral candidates have made their way here to the Zoomerplex in Liberty Village for an exciting debate hosted by CARP and the new AM 740's Dale Goldhawk. Are there any uh, special seniors programs that are in your platform that should be established that might make life a little easier for seniors? Number one problem, in the winter especially, is making sure their, their snow is cleared and driveways. We have 95,000 households waiting for affordable housing. 30% of them are seniors. But I'm thinking aloud here, my goodness me, here we are, we've got three of you here, we're at Zuma, we're dealing with people who are seniors, what on earth are you going to do for us? There's a lot of seniors now who either want to continue to work um, or who have to continue to work, and I think uh, there's got to be a lot of work done in partnership with businesses and other organizations. Elder abuse begins at home in cities like Toronto. What can you do about it? One of the worst. One of the worst crimes, abusing a senior. And a lot of times it's within their own family. I think it's terrible. There are quite a few organizations in the city that have received city grants. I think we've got to look at uh, even perhaps defining uh, the offense more particularly in the criminal code. And I think we have to look at uh, a hotline. <laughs> Employment, transit, and elder abuse were among the major issues brought up here at the debate as the candidates tried their best to capture the coveted Zoomer vote. Surveys show that 90% of CART members will make their way to the polls come election day on October the 27th. Here at the Zoomerplex in Toronto's Liberty Village, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zed News.